late next week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, which Saturday is New Year's Eve or New Year's Eve, Christmas Eve. I've been stuck on New Year's Eve for some Christmas Eve. <laughs> we got to get one holiday out of the way first. Christmas Eve is what we're talking about here um, next week. So let's review real quickly. I'll move my head out of the way. Um, this is the winter weather forecasting rules that I live by. And I think it's really the way to go about looking at things. We're in this seven to 10 day range right here. Okay. And so what I look for is pattern recognition. Are we favorable in the Southeast for wintry weather? Um, we are in the seven to 10 day range. So I could give this a check right now. We are in that pattern where it is favorable for us to see wintry weather somewhere in the Southeast. Um, not necessarily on Christmas Day either. I think anywhere from Friday, Saturday, maybe into Sunday. And I'm going to show you in a minute, there's actually probably better chances going into the weekend and then coming out of the weekend. So Christmas weekend itself, there might not be anything, but that Thursday, Friday time frame and then the Monday, Tuesday time frame are actually looking more favorable. I think for Christmas Day, right now, if you were to tell me, pin down a forecast, I'll show you what I think right now is a trend. I think cold and dry. I mean, that's <laughs> that's kind of the way it looks right now um, based on what I'm seeing. Um, now, just to give you a heads up on, on kind of the history of Christmas Day in the Charlotte area and why statistically it's really hard to get snow on Christmas here. We've only seen it four times on Christmas Day. That's measurable snow or snow on the ground Christmas Day four times. Last one in 2010, that was an epic one. Even though we had about a half an inch in Charlotte, it snowed over the western part really early in the day. And then through the evening and the 26th, it snowed across the entire state. So that was crazy. The whole state of North Carolina saw snow. So statistically, that's a 2% chance. There's actually a higher chance of being 70 like it was last year, 71. Um, that's happened six times. So this year, just a quick look at my forecast right now, I am forecasting very cold temperatures. Lows in the upper teens, mid-20s for Christmas Day. Highs in the mid to upper 30s. No rain expected right now. And snow chances a little bit higher than that statistical average of 2% in the 3 to 6% range. I would say that's even. I don't see it's trending up or down. But I'm going to talk about now the pattern going into the weekend, which might give us some wintry weather ahead of time. So let's get right to the big details here. I'm going to move my head back over here. And I'll move this back just a little bit. So... What you're looking at here is the upper level heights, uh, 500 millibars, and basically we're the jet stream level. You see the big blob of cold air and dip in the jet stream over us. This is right now through the weekend, so pretty chilly weekend. Next week, we kind of flatten out, so we get back to more typical, probably low 50s, upper 40s. So pretty typical for this time of year. Nothing crazy, crazy high, um, but nothing crazy, crazy cold either. When the crazy cold, it's really late next week. Wednesday, Thursday, you see that big blob coming down right there. This is the pattern I'm watching. Here's the heart of the cold air diving down to the southeast. The storm track is right here, okay? And what we want to see, if we want to see snow, we don't want this to go too far south. Why? Um, I know it's a saying you hear a lot, it's too cold to snow. That's not really true, but there is a little bit of rhyme and reason to it. And the reason in the southeast we sometimes say it's too cold for snow because what happens is the trough digs so far to the deep, we uh, to the south and deep, that we get under the, the, the dry cold air and the storm track gets shoved down to Florida. And there's actually higher chances of wintry weather to our south than over us. So what you want to see is the storm track kind of right over us, or you want to see the trough dig and then a storm come in here immediately and throw moisture up and over that cold air. So those are the ideal setups for snow. Right now, a high confidence in cold air. It, it is going to be cold Christmas weekend. There's little doubt in that. Um, whether it's upper 30s, or low 30s, that's the question. There's about a 10 degree range, but that's all about 10 to 15 degrees below average. That is right there. I mean, that is that is money. And look at the time here, though. It's not really Christmas Day. If you look, I'll back this up. This is actually next Friday, the 23rd. So in many ways, that's the better chance for wintry weather. Friday, not Christmas. Um, and if we go through time, Christmas weekend, we actually start to moderate a little bit. And then on the tail end of this, I'm going to go into Monday, the 26th, the cold air is trying to lift and there's a little hint of a wave there and enough cold air left over. So the big focus right now is really on next Thursday, Friday, and that's the system that brings in the cold air. So a lot of people will say, you know, the models are all over the place. They are. We don't look at specific models. One of the things I look at are ensembles. Um, and just to give you a quick update on the temperature. So these are the departure from average, just to show you the temperatures. You see the blob of air moving down. And it's really cold. This is Thursday, Friday into Saturday. So 
you know, these are below average temperatures. That dark purple there, um, you're getting up close to 20 degrees below average. Our average high is about 55, so that's like 34, 35 for a high. And that means morning lows in the teens and 20s. So it's cold. So a lot of times you hear people post, and it's been happening for the last week, single model runs. Remember, the models run every six hours, the global models of the deterministic run. But we also run these things called ensembles, which the European model, this is what you're looking at here, this is a 51 versions of the ensemble of the European model. And this is for snow for Charlotte. And you could see next uh, Thursday, Friday, um, the 23rd, there, are, there is a signal. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 of the 51 has some snow. So that's that's something to keep an eye on. Double digit is it's not crazy high. Um, the mean is only a half an inch, so it's not crazy, but that's a signal. That is definitely next Friday is definitely on the European ensembles looking interesting. Uh, ironically, Christmas Day, which is right here, uh, there's a couple there, but there's only like three or four. It's actually zero mean. Um, and then the 26, 27, you see another little hint. But really, this stuff, I would say this is, I mean, you're going to see this all the time in the winter. I don't buy a whole lot into that. This to me right here is much more of a signal. And when I say favorable pattern, that looks better. Here's the problem. We look at the GFS, which everyone's like, the GFS model's going crazy snow. Here's the version, the ensemble version of the GFS. Now, again, this was the 6Z run. We'll get the next one here shortly. It has a big goose egg. Not even one single member has snow over Charlotte between now and Christmas. So this is why when you see a crazy run in the models, um, I look at this and I see zero. I said, that's garbage. Well, on the other hand, the European might have zero on its deterministic run, but if its ensembles have this, that would still pique my interest. So sometimes you don't look at those deterministic runs. When people throw those out all over social media, I'm often like, that's not really the story. The story are these, these ensemble members. So a way to look at this, which I really love, um, I'm going to back this up here, is looking at the chance of seeing one inch of snow based on that ensemble information. So we're going to go through time. The first thing you're looking at here, I'm going to move my head down um, so you can see that this is actually the European ensemble. We're going to go 24 hour probabilities of seeing one inch of snow. This is a much better way to look at model guidance. So we'll go through this weekend. You can see some snow in the mountains. Um, not a big deal. Next week, let's go to next Thursday, Friday. I'm going to stop this. And again, these are 24 hour probabilities. Let me back that up because there was a little peak there. So this is a uh, go one frame forward. There we go. So this is uh, the 24 hour period from Thursday to Friday, 7 a.m. So a 24 hour period. The probability of seeing one inch in Charlotte's about 20 percent. 25% in Hickory, 22%. So that's why the that's significant. That's something to keep an eye on. What's ironic is everyone wants snow for Christmas. Let's go to Christmas Day, 24-hour <laughs> period ending on Christmas morning. Um, it's zero. So if we're going to have a white Christmas, it's not because snow is going to be falling on Christmas. It's going to have to be something left on the ground from Thursday or Friday. And then on the backside, I said, you know, there's a little system to keep an eye on. Nothing crazy high, but some lower numbers, but nothing jumps off the chart right there, right? So this is a good way to look. The probabilities of one inch, that that's next Thursday to Friday, okay? So that's the, the European ensemble. Well, we can look at the same guidance for the GFS, um, which has gone crazy, obviously, with the snow today, but let's look at the same time frame. It's not quite as bullish, and that's why you're seeing a lot of the ensembles. It's about 13%. So again, we're eight days out from this, uh, seven, eight days out. And you're looking at maybe a 15 to 20% chance of seeing one inch. It's a pretty low chance. Let's just say if I was planning a golf outing next Thursday, Friday, and it was the summer and there was a 20% chance of rain, I probably would not be making a lot of changes to my plan. <laughs> and probably you wouldn't either. For some reason, people freak out over snow. But I just want to be totally transparent with you. That's what we're thinking about right now. So the time frame we're watching, again, is next Thursday, Friday. It's not so much Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. So if you're thinking about white Christmas snow on Christmas morning, not going to happen right now based on this. It's more the Thursday, Friday time frame. And that's why it's actually closer to us because it's seven to eight days out. So we go back to my rules, right? Here's, the, uh, here's what I'm thinking for Christmas Day, but let's back this thing up and talk about the rules. So we are in this seven to 10 day time frame, And so right now, as I said earlier, I do think 
we are favorable for wintry weather next Thursday, Friday. So what's going to happen over the next couple of days? We'll get in the five to seven day range. Is this trending up? Is it trending down? That's we're on the trend watch right now, trending up or down three to five days out. We're getting closer to next week. Are we going to see snow, sleet or ice? And then one to three days out. This is when you start. You should be seeing snowfall, snowfall maps with totals and how much. If you're seeing them up in this range, that person, don't follow them. Please ignore them. Delete that page. They probably have no idea what they're talking about. That's just that's like people that swing for the fences and they hit one home run, but they strike out nine times. That's that's those people. OK, um, that's not the case. You want you want to get contact here. So we're working on uh, fine tuning this forecast and we'll have a better idea over the next couple of days. But it's something to keep an eye. So the time frame we're watching, folks, Thursday to Friday next week, the 22nd and 23rd. Not so much Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. Now, again, it's pretty far out there. It slows down. It could be Christmas weekend. It speeds up, could be earlier, and obviously could still go away because there's a lot of ingredients here that have to come together. The one thing we know for sure, it is going to be cold next week. And let me show you just how cold. So how cold? Well, this is the blend of all the models just for the highs and lows for Charlotte. And you can see low 50s, upper 40s through the middle of next week. And then Thursday, Friday, look at the dip in temperature. So Christmas Day, you're looking at highs in the 30s, morning lows, teens and 20s. So you get the idea. It is going to be really cold next weekend. Whether or not we see wintry weather, that's still debatable. But I will tell you right now, the pattern is there and it is trending up, at least over our historical average of 2%. I'd say the chance of seeing snow next week is increasing. If I had to get a ballpark at 15%, probably would be a good, a good ballpark number right now. So definitely something to keep an eye on. It has my attention. And now if you're a snow lover, this is something to keep an eye on.